So, hi everyone, uh, my name is Pedro Escaleira, uh, me and my fellow colleague uh, Miguel Mota from Instituto de Telecomunicações in Aver, Portugal, uh, will be presenting our latest research uh, related to the development and deployment of a MAC infrastructure using OSM. Um, all of the work that we will be presenting uh, was done in the scope of the project NetEd, which is a national project here in Portugal, where we are re researching uh, edge um, technology. Um, so, first things first, uh, I will present our uh, use case, since it is a bit uh, distinct from the typical one. Um, and then I will proceed with the uh, presentation of uh, what we did in practice to achieve uh, our use case necessities. So our use case is related to a B2B2C model, model or a business to business to consumer model. And what this means in practice is that we are working with a telco operator uh, whose clients are not the end consumer, uh, but other telco operators. So what this means uh, in the scope of MEC or multi-access edge computing is that we have a, a first type of operator, the NSP or network service provider, um, whose clients are other telco operators, which are uh, the CSP or communication service providers. And the clients of the CSP uh, are uh, the end consumers. So uh, the NSP in this case offers to the CSP the edge infrastructure and also a platform where uh, the CSP operators can request uh, for edge resources. Uh, and the NSP also provides the CSP with a platform that uh, the CSP can then provide its end consumers uh, to deploy their MAC applications in the edge infrastructure. Um, Obviously, uh, when we are talking about MEC and the infrastructure that we have uh, developed and deployed, uh, we use the standard uh, proposal by Etsy for MEC. Uh, in this case, we used uh, this architecture presented by Etsy in the document MEC 003. Um, this specific architecture is the one where NFV and MEC uh, paradigms are um, combined together since there are multiple points of collision, uh, mainly the NFVI, the VIM, uh, and the orchestration and management uh, here um, represented by the NFV menu. Uh, and then another important uh, point of collision is the fact that the MEC platform or MEP can be deployed as a VNF, and also the MEC applications can also be instantiated in the MEC hosts as uh, simple VNFs. Um, from this conceptual architecture, um, we, uh, to what we did in practice and also taking into account uh, our very specific use case, uh, what we have done was to divide the menu uh, present on the first architecture into two uh, different menus. So, we have a first menu, uh, a main menu, which belongs to the NSP operator. Uh, and then we have a second type of menu uh, which belongs to the CSP operator. So the CSP, when it, it wants to um, have some edge resources or uh, to have an edge platform to provide to its end clients, uh, it can approach uh, this NSP menu and request this. And when it does so, uh, this first menu will instantiate the second type of menu and, and also we'll associate the MAC platform uh, that we have already uh, developed and also uh, the container platform in the uh, edge hosts uh, where then the clients of the CSP can uh, deploy their MAC applications. Um, obviously here we used OSM as our menu and we used uh, Kubernetes as our container platform since uh, OSM uh, as uh, integration with Kubernetes. Um, and also our make application, since there, there are uh, instantiated as VNFs in a Kubernetes cluster, they are uh, KNFs or Kubernetes based uh, VNFs. Um, probably this figure is more easy to understand. So, as I said, we have a first type of menu which belongs to the NSP. 
uh, and this menu has access to the multiple edge servers, which in our case are managed by an open stack. Uh, then when, an, uh, when a CSP operator wants some edge resources, it can approach this first menu and request it. And this first menu will deploy the menu for the CSP operator and also will instantiate a Kubernetes cluster in one or multiple edge servers. Um, finally, the Kubernetes cluster will also be added automatically to the CSP menu in order to the clients of CSP to be able to deploy their make applications as KNFs in the edge servers. Um, to achieve all of this, uh, we have created multiple NESs and VNFs. More concretely, we have created two uh, distinct NESs. So the first NES, uh, which we are presenting here in this slide, uh, is uh, constituted by a VNF. And this VNF instantiates a Kubernetes cluster. So it is composed by a Kubernetes master and multiple workers that can be scaled up or scaled down according to the necessities of uh, the CSP operator. Uh, an important thing to take into account here is that uh, this Kubernetes cluster is instantiated in the cloud because it will be used to uh, deploy the second type of uh, OSM, the OSM that will be used by CSP uh, and also the uh, Mac functional blocks, as, uh, as I will explain in the next slide. So the second type of NES that I will uh, present in the following uh, slide is composed by these KNEFs and these VNEF. So these two KNEFs are um, in fact instantiated in this first type of cluster in the cloud. Uh, and the first one uh, instantiates a charmed OSM. And therefore, since it is a charmed OSM, uh, it is a KNF based on Juju bundles. And then we also have uh, created a KNF which uh, deploys the multiple Mac functional blocks. Uh, but in our case, we have only developed yet the Mac platform or MAP, and the other two functional blocks will be um, developed in the future. Um, then we have a, uh, a second type of VNF, which also deploys a Kubernetes cluster as the previous one. But uh, here there is a very important, important distinction because the previous uh, VNF uh, instantiated a cluster in the cloud, but this VNF instantiates a cluster in uh, the edge servers. So this uh, Kubernetes cluster will be used by the client of CSP uh, to instantiate their um, Mac applications as KNFs. And therefore, this uh, Kubernetes cluster will be also added automatically to this Charm OSM. Um, and here, finally, uh, we show the, this uh, second type of NES, where, as I said, uh, deploys a Kubernetes cluster in the edge servers and then a Charmed OSM and the Mac functional box as KNFs in the cloud. Um, to showcase all of these, we have also a, a simple video demo uh, which shows uh, how the, this instantiation of these uh, NFs um, and KNFs and NFs uh, is done in our case. So just a moment. Okay. So this video begins by uh, demonstrating that uh, we have no uh, cluster added to our main OSM. This OSM is the one that represents the OSM of the main operator, the NSP. And now uh, we also show the multiple packages that we have, the NS packages. Uh, as I referred, there are two. One for uh, the, Q the cluster of Kubernetes that is deployed in the cloud and the second type, which deploys the Charmed OSM and the cluster in the edge. So then we also have the multiple NF packages. And now uh, we show the instantiation of the first type of NES, uh, which is just a, a Kubernetes cluster, uh, which will be deployed in the cloud. So this instantiation process takes more or less uh, 10 minutes. Uh, and in these 10 minutes, we have uh, multiple Juju um, charms which conduct day one operations where um, the instantiation of the cluster is uh, done. 
And also when this uh, instantiation is completed, uh, we also have a, uh, another type of Juju um, charm uh, to add the cluster automatically to our OSM to be used to instantiate uh, the charmed OSM, which will be done. All. Okay. Now uh, we show also the instantiation of the second type of NES, which instantiates, as I said, uh, the Charmed OSM, uh, the Mac platform, and also a cluster of Kubernetes in the edge. Okay. Uh, also, an important note here is that we are instantiating the Charmed OSM and the Mac platform in the same Kubernetes namespace. And this is very important, as Miguel will present further, because our Mac uh, platform uses the MongoDB from OSM as a database to storage the information about our Mac applications. Okay. This instantiation process also takes more or less 10 minutes. So it is completed. And now we also show the multiple Juju charms of the Juju bundle. Uh, for OSM that uh, was just finished or instantiating. Okay, you can see it here. Uh, and then the multiple pods uh, of which correspond to these multiple charms uh, and also the Mac platform here in the name, same namespace as I referred. Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, we have two types of uh, MANU to OSMs, as I referred. The first type to which belongs to the NSP and the second type to the CSP. And you also may notice that in this second type of OSM, there is already a Vim account associated and a cluster of Kubernetes associated. And uh, the reason for that is that we also have a Juju Charm, which adds automatically uh, the Kubernetes cluster to this OSM to be used by the CSP clients to instantiate their Mac applications as KNEFs. And now uh, Miguel will continue uh, this presentation by explaining how we did develop our Mac platform or MAP and also our test Mac application to showcase everything that we have created. So uh, in regards to, to our Mac platform and test Mac application, uh, during the development process, we, since we are using OSM extensively, we decided to move into and use their technology stack. And thus, we develop our Mac platform using SherryPy. And to store the, the, the information that we receive from Mac applications, we are using the MongoDB database that OSM already uses. Uh, our Mac platform is deployed as a, a KNF, like my, uh, my colleague previously said. And then the Edge applications that can be in, in different Mac servers uh, connect to the map via the MP1 interface, which is already specified by Etsy. This is done in order so for the Mac applications to retrieve information about other Mac applications that might not be in the same server or in the same cluster of Kubernetes. Uh, our Mac application, like my colleague previously said, is deployed as a KNF, which will be shown in the next uh, slide. Just Okay, as you can see here, the Mac application is deployed as a, a KNF. And now we will show that uh, everything that we said now can be deployed in the cluster of the CSP. And we will show it working using the MP1 interface. Our Mac application is uh, using, uh, reusing uh, the Mac application that was previously shown in the previous ecosystem day by Unibu University. Okay, first we will have the VNF package, which will create, when instantiated, um, a container in Kubernetes using Elm shards, as we can see here. And then we'll have a NES for the VNF package. which I'm showing here. And then we can instantiate the, the Mac application via the OSM.
And since the map was already deployed, when the cluster was deployed for the CSP, this uh, Mac application will attempt to connect to it, which we will do manually after it has been deployed. Now we will check that the application is indeed deployed in the Kubernetes cluster. Okay, we can see that it is deployed. We will check the service that is exposing the, the application to, to the outside, which is using node, node port. We will use the cluster, the, the worker IP and this port right here. And we will attempt to use the, the Mac application to communicate with the map that has been deployed on the CSP cluster. This is very similar to what Univu did. So we will change the configuration or submit it. We can then check which services are already there. We deployed one called OSM test app. Now we can confirm that our application is ready to start communicating with the map. We will register our application. It gives us, oh, this application has this ID and we can check that it is already in the services as we can see below. And now we can create subscriptions for the applications. Currently, our application has registered now, so it has no subscriptions. We will subscribe now. We can see that a subscription was added, and now we can check the information about the subscription, which in this case is subscribing for applications that contain the surname OSM test application, which I previously shown is one of the services that is available on the Mac app, on the Mac platform. As then we can see that we deploy the Mac application that communicates with a map that was previously uh, deployed via the Kubernetes cluster for the CSP. Uh, and that was everything we had to present. Uh, thank you for your attention. And, uh, if you have any question, feel free to ask if there is still time, or you can also approach me or Miguel using our emails. Thank you. <laughs>